Hello everyone. I get asked often if Synchro is compatible with P6 and in fact it is. It has a uh, two-way integration so P6 can talk to Synchro and Synchro can talk to P6. So today we're going to look at importing a schedule from P6 into Synchro, making some changes in Synchro and then uh, syncing it back into p6 we're going to do this manually there is a api that we can set up within synchro to directly talk to uh, p6 but today we're going to look at just doing it manually so as you can see i've already imported my model i've done that by file import and then just 3d model select your files and import your model next we'll have a look at our p6 schedule as you can see here it's just a very simple schedule with uh, walls, roofs, and windows. So now we want to export this schedule so that we can put it into Synchro. We're going to export it using a Primavera P6 XML file. We want to uncheck this and then I'm just going to save it to my desktop here. Once it finishes we can go back to Synchro and now we want to import that schedule into synchro here so we'll go to primavera so we're just gonna for this i'm gonna leave it as the default import everything now you can see we have our schedule in the synchro now so now that we have that in synchro let's go to our resources quick linking of our resources to our actual schedule here so now we simply can just drag and drop the resources that we want onto the task that we want and then windows so now i want to create a task for doors here i can simply select my resource for doors select uh, the windows I'm going to right click in my 3d window here and I'm going to go create task below selected task so now it's saying this resource has children preserve the resource hierarchy and create multiple tasks so what it's asking is that do I want to create a task for every single door for this example I don't I'm just going to clump my doors together for one task so I'm going to hit no so now you can see it's created this door task it's made it a start start relationship um, Let's unlink that real quick and we'll give it a finish start relationship there. So then I can just reschedule, select it. Now we have a nice kind of stair, stairway looking schedule. Now I can run through my focus time and you can see here everything's happening and it's all linked. Next thing I want to do is go to navigator and I want to go to external data. We can see here this is the P6 our demo p6 schedule that we import it now what i want to do is i want to synchronize this updated schedule back to that uh, xml file so there browse make sure that i have that same file selected next so for here i'm going to hit skip all because i don't need to uh synchronize everything i only really need my task and my links for this one right so i'm just going to synchronize those um hit synchronize here so it's showing that it was successful hit finish and we'll go back to p6 so now that we're back to p6 we want to import synchronize that schedule there so we're going to go to file import p6 xml again next i always like to just make sure now you can leave this checked or unchecked. It, it really doesn't matter with uh, with doing the synchro import. So now here, this is important. So import action. We don't want to create a new schedule. We want to update the existing. We want to pick the uh, project we want to import to next. Now here is the the template. I've already created my template, but you're you're going to want to create a new template. Hit add. And now take a look at this. So depending on what version of P6 you have, you, you may have more or less options, but under your basic global here is that you want to have your settings set up exactly the same here. So for the ones that say update existing, make sure that you have that. And then for the ones that say keep existing, 
uh, have that as well. So make sure you have this set up and then under global and for project, the same here, have the update existing, make sure that those are all uh, changed. And then for your bottom two activities and resource assignments and activity relationships, make sure you have those last two checked off for delete. And then we will hit save. Now that we have our template created, we're going to go next and finish. Now you can see here, our new window step has been added. If we go to our, sorry, our tools here, hit reschedule. There we go. So now we have a, a schedule that's been synchronized with our synchro schedule. I'd also like to mention that the synchro scheduler uh, that's without the 4D capabilities, just the scheduler itself is free to download off the Bentley website. Thanks, everyone.